Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Jordanian monarch, His Majesty King Abdullah II bin Hussein. His Majesty reassured the health of uh, the Jordanian king and congratulated him on the success of the surgical operation he undertook and prayed to Allah the Almighty to grant uh, King Abdullah II a speedy recovery and bestow him with good health and wellness to continue leading the march of development for the Hashmid Kingdom of Jordan. The Jordanian monarch reassured His Majesty the King about his good health and thanked him for his noble fraternal feelings which reflect strong brotherly relations binding the two countries in the call the two leaders discussed latest regional developments urging support to all efforts to halt escalation in the city of Jerusalem and to respect the rights of Muslims to uh, practice their religious rights freely and without restrictions his Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Law 16 of the year 2022 to amend Topic 1 of Law 28 of the year 2006 regarding the reserve for future generations after the approval of the Shura and Representatives Councils. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Al Safriya Palace today His Eminence as Sayyid Abdullah Al Ghraifi, where he congratulated His Majesty on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan, praying to the Almighty to preserve His Majesty and uh, to the Kingdom of Bahrain and his people for their progress and prosperity. His Majesty welcomed the guests and exchanged congratulations on the holy month, and he noted that the harmony of human feelings in our Islamic nation consolidates its pride, strength, and perseverance, its rights and instills human brotherhood which is derived from the true Islamic teachings that are based on mercy, tolerance and acceptance of others. His Majesty praised the efforts of His Eminence as Sayyid Abdullah al-Ghrefi, stressing that the clergy in the Kingdom of Bahrain are the role models for morals and enlightened uh, discourse as they contribute to the advancement of, of their homelands and seek to consolidate the concepts of goodness, peace and love with insight and wisdom and good preaching. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Ghadibiya Palace. The cabinet highlighted the importance of talks held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, in which relations between the two countries and the development of cooperation to achieve common interests were reviewed. In this regard, the cabinet noted the depth of historical relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Arab Arab Emirates expressing his thanks and appreciation to the UAE for its comprehensive support of the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince then directed for the distribution of the 2021-2022 pension increase to the salaries of retirees and to enter the pension increase within the retirees bank accounts on the 20th of April 2022. In this regard His Royal Highness instructed the Ministry of Finance and National Economy in coordination with the social insurance organization to initiate the implementation of the pension increased distributions. The directive aligns with reforms to the retirement and social insurance systems that will benefit the fund's sustainability.
The Cabinet discussed several memorandums during the meeting with the following outcomes. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding an MOU between the Government of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Government of the Republic of Cyprus in Air Services. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the government's response to four proposals and the three law proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet also reviewed the following topics. A memorandum by the Minister of Labour and Social Development regarding Economic Recovery Plan employment outcomes in the first quarter of 2022, which showed an increase in employment by 32.1% and training by 36% compared to the same period during the year 2021. The Cabinet took note of the ministerial reports regarding the outcomes of the visit of the Minister of Foreign Affairs to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today awarded the 30 top performing government agencies within the National Suggestion and Complaint System Tawassal for the year 2021 at Qadibiya Palace. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister highlighted the importance of strengthening the quality and delivery of public services provided to citizens and residents. His Royal Highness stressed the necessity of developing government work teams, streams uh, to meet the aspirations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He also expressed confidence in Team Bahrain's efforts to ensure service delivery excellence, a key goal of the National Suggestions and Complaints System Tawassal, which was launched to expand and develop services provided to citizens and residents. His Royal Highness then directed that the, that the criteria for the Customer Service Excellence Award be expanded to further enhance competition among government agencies and improve the quality and efficiency of government services for citizens and residents. The 30 government agencies were awarded based on the quality and efficiency of responses to suggestions and complaints submitted by citizens and residents, with some agencies Agencies performing indicators reaching 100 percent. 21 government agencies were awarded twice or more in previous editions, of which two agencies have been awarded within all six editions of the award, namely the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications and the Ministry of Housing. Out of the total 30 government agencies, nine were awarded for the first time. This year's top performing government agencies included the Ministry of Interior, through the Customs Affairs, the Southern Governorate, the Capital Governorate, the Northern Governorate, the Nationality Passport and Residence Affairs, the General Director of Traffic, the Information and E-Government Authority, the Ministry of Finance and National Economy, the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications, the Northern Area Municipality, Muharraq Municipality, the Southern Area Municipality, the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, through the Municipal One Stop Shop Shaman Municipality Center, the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Housing, the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs, the Supreme Council for the Environment, the Electricity and Water Authority, the Labor Fund, Temkin, the Survey and Land Registration Bureau, the Real Estate Regulatory Authority, RIRA, the National Health Regulatory Authority, the Urban Planning and Development Authority, the Bahrain Bourse, the Education and Training Quality Authority, the Bahrain Institute of Public Administration, BIPA, the Social Insurance Organization, the Labor Market Regulatory Authority, the Civil Service Bureau. For their part, the senior government officials and heads of the public sector agencies expressed their honor, gratitude and appreciation for receiving the award, adding that it will reinforce uh, their efforts to ensure citizens and residents receive the best services in a timely manner. The Representatives Council held its weekly session shared by its Speaker Fozia Zainal. The Council approved a draft law amending a number of provisions of Law 51 of the year 2009 on banning the development, production, stockpiling and use of chemical weapons and their destruction. The Council also approved a draft law banning the development, production and stockpiling of uh, bacteriological and toxin weapons and their destruction. A draft law amending a number of provisions of the Law of Society, Social and Cultural Clubs, private bodies working in the field of youth and sports and private institutions was also approved. The Council approved a number of proposals regarding the reduction of fees for private rooms in Salmania Medical Complex for citizens with disabilities by 50% and the inclusion of a Thursday, May the 5th, within the official holiday of Eid al-Fitr. 
The Speaker of the Representatives Council of Ozia, Bint Abdullah Zainal, praised the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to start dispersing the increase in retirees' pensions retroactively for the year 2021 until April of the year 2022. The Speaker pointed out that the order affirmed the keenness of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Prime Minister to achieve the aspirations of citizens and in response to the request of the representatives and to enhance the fruitful and effective cooperation between the legislative and the executive authorities in implementation of the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Zainal expressed her deep thanks and appreciation for the efforts of the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and all members of the Shuran Representatives Councils to continue bilateral work to achieve common aspirations, reach the sustainability of the funds and guarantee the rights of the retirees. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, praised the laws amended some provisions of the social insurance law and by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and two laws regulating pensions and retirement benefits for government employees, officers and members of the BDF and public security. Al Saleh noted that the agreements that were made within the framework of cooperation and coordination between the legislative and executive authorities during the discussion of the draft laws on retirement systems that are considered a true translation of the directives of His Majesty. The Shura chairman affirmed that the generous orders and directives issued by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to start dispersing the increase in pensioners' pensions re retroactively for the year 2021 until April reflects the government's keenness to preserve the rights of retirees and participants in the retirement systems and uh, preserve their earnings. The Shura Chairman valued the sincere efforts made by uh, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and his remarkable cooperation with members of the Shura and Representatives Councils. He noted the keenness of the executive administration of the Public Authority for Social Insurance to take all measures that pave the way for the retroactive payment of the increase in retirees and implement the order of His Royal Highness. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al-Zayani, met in Kuwait with the Kuwaiti Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Dr. Ahmed Nasr al Muhammad Al-Sabah. The two sides reviewed the brotherly relations between the two brotherly countries and people, which are constantly developing in various fields. They also addressed the means to enhance cooperation and coordination and discuss regional and international issues of common interest. The Bahrain Ambassador in Kuwait, Sal Salah Al-Malki, and the Foreign Minister's accompanying delegation attended the meeting. The United Nations country team in Bahrain published a report regarding 2021 results. The report highlights the significant achievements in implementing the framework of strategic cooperation and sustainable development signed with the government of Bahrain in May 2021. For his part, the Undersecretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for Political Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, said that Bahrain is close to completing one year of signing the framework for strategic cooperation and sustainable development. He added that the Kingdom of Bahrain is strongly supportive of the progress and reforms of the United Nations system launched by the Secretary General Antonio Guterres, which has begun to develop a more transparent, effective and coherent partnership that will lead to achieving the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development.